Today we are going to do a topographic survey and the corresponding stakeout in the same morning, taking advantage of the synchronization capacity of the TCP GPS application with a Google Drive account. For this, we are going to do a detailed topographic survey of a parking area where they want to enable shade areas and place a canopy. Once the topographic survey is done, the TCP GPS project will be synchronized with a Google Drive account and this My Office Workmate will be able to access the data measured and fit the marquee project with the existing reality. Once finished, he will generate the list of stakeout points corresponding with the footings of the marquee. And I from the field will be able to access them for stakeout with the TCP GPS application in any of the stakeout modes provided. This will result in a consequent saving in travel time and obviously cost. For the survey in configuration I set the measurement tolerances and activate the floating button to improve ergonomics. During the process we take advantage of the coding to graphically represent both the linear and point features of the measured elements, agglomeration edge curbs parking lines, as well as possible affected services, etc. We also take advantage of the ability to link photographs or voice notes to the measured points to complete reports. After the first field phase, we export the data in point and DXF format, and then synchronize the project with a Google Drive account. My colleague from Office Accesses download them, he opens the DXF file and since he has MDT installed, it takes advantage to import the points taken and represent them automatically, both the 3D lines and the blocks. With the drawing obtained, he fits the project and generates the points that corresponds to the axes of the columns to be staked out. This list is saved it in the project's folder synchronized with Google Drive. Finally, from the field, I load the list of points for columns and proceed to the stake out of them. I choose the method of staking points oriented to the north, I graphically select the desired point and I move according to the indications of TCP GPS. Once the point is finished, I select it and measure the same to record the staked out point. Finally, we can list both the points measured in the survey, the raw data, and the points staked out. I hope you like the way of working with the TCP GPS application from Applatop. Greetings.